everybody, it's Mama Jane. Inspector. We are here with our Monday Madness video. Today we're going to do Guns N' Roses. Yep. So... We have all three Guns N' Roses pops, which is a complete set. It would have been nice if they gave us all five of the, well, you can't really say original members, but I guess the mainstream original members when they yeah. became popular, uh, which would have included Izzy and Steven Adler as the drummer. But, you know, I, I mean, at least they gave us these three, which were the three that continued with the band longer. Originally, you know, Guns N' Roses came from the name Tracy Guns and Axl Rose. And this guy's the end. <laughs> that's what he keeps saying, but that's not true. Um, Tracy Guns went on to be in a band called L.A. Guns. And they were pretty popular, too. They were pretty popular, too. L.A. Guns. I met Tracy Guns once. In the parking lot of an Ozzy Osbourne concert. Oh, is that the one that you almost ran over? He, we did almost run him over. He came out of the bushes with a broken leg, and my friend was driving, and she had to slam on her brakes. And then we, after we yelled at the guy, we realized who it was. And so at that point, we're digging through the car looking for, yes, a cassette tape to have him autograph it. <laughs> Look, we know we almost broke your other leg and killed you, but could you sign this real quick for <laughs> He us? did autograph it. Um, I'm not really sure who ended up with it, because I don't think I ended up with it. But, um, but, yeah, so, you know, I mean, that was really cool. I have seen Guns N' Roses. I actually seen Slash first before I ever seen the full band of Guns N' Roses. Slash actually showed up at a Alice Cooper concert and played on stage with him. That's where I've seen Slash. He played at an Alice Cooper concert. A different one, but yes. Yes. A different because when the one I'm talking about, I was like 16, and you know. Um, what I'm talking about, I was like 16. Yeah. So, <laughs> but yeah, I'll, um, Slash has shown up again, and because him and Alice Cooper are friends, and so I know that Slash is one of your favorite guitar players. Yep. Yeah. He used to love all his hair. All of his hair, yeah. You know. Uh, the top hat, though, you know, back in the 80s, there was a big controversy between that top hat. Really? Well, because C.C. DeVille from Poison also wore a top hat. I believe he also tried out for the position that Slash ended up with in Guns N' Roses. Uh, and if anybody knows who C.C. DeVille is, he fit much better in Poison than he would have in Guns N' Roses. But either way, um, let's do what we do every Monday. Yep, take them out. Take them out of the box. All right, so here we are with them out of the box. Uh, we'll start off with the lead singer, obviously, which is Axl Rose. This is, uh, I love these pops. Um, he's got his, what is this called? Um, when the, a kilt? Yeah, a kilt. I couldn't think of what it was called, a kilt. So he's wearing his kilt. And he's got his bandana on with his sunglasses. I mean, this is pretty cool. This is a pretty awesome pop. Yeah, it is. Uh, I, I think some of these 80s metal bands that they've done as pops, they've done a really good job with them. Really good job. Uh, I mean, I would love to see more, but this is a really awesome pop. All right. Which one are you going to do? I'm going to do Slash. Okay. And this one's really cool. You can see his tattoos on his arms. Barely. Um, oh the yeah, Axel has tattoos on his arm too. His cigarette, his super glossy hat, which almost looks like it can kind of come off, but let me see if I can turn his body a little bit. So you can see his tattoo there, and there's one on the other arm as well, but I can't turn it because of the guitar neck. I, you know, I think it's kind of funny though that that uh, pop actually has a cigarette hanging out of his mouth. You know, they would so definitely. Come on. As we've said before, they're not I think, toys. <laughs> I think even the box says... This is not a toy? Yeah, this is not a toy somewhere. It might. Especially since he's got a cigarette hanging out of his mouth. But either way, still a very awesome pop. It actually says this is a toy. 
Does it? Yeah, it's just six plus. Wow. Same. Um, Remember, children, don't smoke. And then we have Duff McKeon. Uh, he has some great tattoos on his arms you can actually see. Hopefully you can see those. Uh, he's got his sunglasses on with the guitar. This is this is a really cool pop. You know, again, I wish they would have made all five. I would have loved to have a Steven Adler pop and an Izzy pop, but I would have loved to have a Steven Adler pop. You know, for me, the 80s metal bands bring back, like, high school memories and all that. And, and uh, yeah, I would have really liked to have a Steven Adler pop. But uh, we do have a Guns N' Roses comic book from the comic book, um, the rock and roll comics that I'm collecting. This one is... I'm not sure what number this one is. It doesn't say, huh? It would say on the cover. Would it? Yeah, it's number one. Oh, no, that's no, no, June no, 1st. that's June 1st. Um, I'm not that's sure insane. what number it is, but I know that there's a full set of them that I'm collecting, so this is the front of it. And then on the back, it does have um, the full band. This right here is Duff. And this other blonde down here would have been Steven Adler. And, of course, Slash. And this one up here would have been Izzy. And then Axel. So that's pretty cool. These are really cool. Again, they're in black and white. They're older comic books. But I am collecting the whole rock and roll set. Oh, it might say... I was looking for what number it was, but it just... I'm not seeing it, so... Um, but I know that I have a list, and I'm just going down the list as I get each one. So I have quite Not a few sure. of them. Number one. Oh, it might be so number that one. That is the one. Oh. It's just June. It was released. You know in what? June. This might be the first one that was released, which I mean, truly is possible. Yeah, I don't think it ever says like the day it comes out. Oh well, that's true. That's true. So it probably is the first one. I know yeah. it was towards the top, so that would make sense that it would be the first one. Definitely would make sense. Does that look like a Batman shirt? Kind of. <laughs> That's funny. If you look at Slash right here, his shirt looks like a Batman shirt. He was representing the DC back then. <laughs> so, we also will do trading cards. So, you want to grab our tub of trading cards and we'll each pick out a pack? Yeah, let's uh, move these to the side. Okay. All right. So, here is our tub of trading cards. And we reach in and we pick something out. And I was just waiting for that to just fall. When you started to tip Oh. It. No, I mean, there's all different kinds in here. So, you know, we just reach in and we pull something out. So, um. Big red envelope. Yeah, those are two big ones that came out. All right. Look away. Look away because the cat wants attention. And let's see which one Inspector got. You always get silly CDs. Do you want to do. Do try again? Yeah. He does always get silly CDs. Oh my god. Wow. Alright, which one did you get? Uh, Pro Set Superstars. Alright, 99 turn. cents. Wow. Alright, this one says Series 2. Oh, you got Pro Rock Set and Roll Trip. Oh, you can win a rock and roll trip. So I believe this is the same thing as that, just a different series. Yeah, I'm guessing mine's series one. Probably. Or yours. Mine is. What is that year right there? 91. Does that say 91? Yours are 89. So yeah, yours came before mine. What did you say 89? I just know it was because I looked at it before. You say 91. Oh, do they? Yeah. Oh, well, there's another one. That, oh, no, you know which one? It's these that are 89. No, we haven't so, opened these yet. Yeah, okay. Alright, so we'll go ahead and move the tub to the side. So, you want to go first or you want me to go first? I want to see if I win. You don't win. Everybody say hello to Ranger. Uh, Alright, so there's a bunch of rules and you have to scratch your star off. Well, I don't think you can win. And the sad part is if it's an instant winner, it's really going to suck because, you know, you yep. can't claim it. Alright, so you want to go oh, first? Oh, look, I got the same thing. Oh, yeah. And mine is to win a trip to Australia. What was yours for? Mine is to win a free rock and roll trip for two to London. 
Oh, I wonder if we can still claim those trips. <laughs> All right, you go ahead and show off your cards first. All right, I got... Oh, I got an instant discount. I got 10% off my next Ten purchase. Cents. That's what I said. Oh, I thought said 10%. Maybe. 10 cents <laughs> off my next purchase of Superstars Music t-shirts. Ooh, 10 cents off. <laughs> Right here we have Dangerous Toys. Oh, I love Dangerous Toys. They were a good band. I did see them in concert. Oh, we need to play our game. Wait, hold on. How many do you think... What is it? 20 cards, right? Mm -hmm. How many bands do you think I've seen in concert? You already got one. Six. Six? All right, let's see if I've seen six of them. Right now we're at one. Next we got The Troop. I have not seen The Troop. Next we have Sisters of Mercy. I have seen Sisters of Mercy. They opened for somebody. I just don't remember who. We got Heavy D and the Boys. Heavy D. Okay, I have not seen Heavy D and the Boys. These are a little different because these are different genres of music. So it might be a little less. We got Ozzy Osbourne. I have seen Ozzy Osbourne. And I'm excited for my Ozzy Bob. Damn Yankees. I have seen the Damn Yankees. <laughs> Where are we at? Oh, I should have been putting them in separate files now. Huh? Yep. Did you see Dangerous Toys? Yes. So we're at four? Yes. George Michael? I have not seen Wham in concert. <laughs> Ala Henya Miles? Um, Alanis Miles? There's no S. Oh, let me see what it says. Alan Henya Miles. George I'm Michael really again. I'm not sure who that is. I have not seen George Michael, so. Paul Young. No. Wow. Well, because this is different genres. George Michael again. That's three George Michael cards. Yeah, that's a lot in one thing. Sacred Rich. So there might be more than 20 cards in here. Remember, we were going off the silver pack. Who was that? No, that's 20 cards in here. Okay, I've not seen them either. Jody Watley. I have not seen her. Santana. I have not seen Santana. Great band, but I have not seen them. I've seen this one. Who was it? Kiss. Oh, that's a yes. We've seen Kiss. So, so far I got one. You have one and I have five. Kings of the Sun? No. Force MDS? No. Uh -oh. Zeppelin? Um, you know what? I wish. Dog Doors. Um, the one band that I wish I was older so I could have seen it. The Who? Who? The Who? The Who? Oh. No, I have not seen The Who. And The Doors. The Doors. I love The Doors. Love me some Jim Morrison. Um, okay, so... One, two, three, five. four, five. So that was pretty close. You were pretty close. Alright, so this one, I think you said yours had 20? That looks like a lot more than 20. See, mine has 12. 14, 15, okay. 20. All right, so mine has 12, so how many of these 12? Want to add to this or? No, do a separate. Okay. Um, four. Four. All right, and for you, I'm going to say zero on this one. I'm going to say one. Okay. So I have violence. Violence. I have not seen them. Uh, Rat, and I have seen Rat. As a matter of fact, I used to bowl with the drummer. Back when bowling used to be cool. Uh, Rigor, Rigor Mortis. <laughs> I have not seen that. Pantera. have not seen them. Jimmy Page. And I have not seen Jimmy Page. And ironically, Jimmy Page again. Oh, I think I was holding that last card the wrong way. Yep. 
You didn't even tell me. I didn't realize you talked to you. Put it down. <laughs> Alright, Annihilator. I have not seen them. Hall of Notes. <laughs> I have seen Hall of Notes. They were at some festival I was at. Daryl Hall and John Oates. Awesome, awesome. They were, were they at the Country Bash? They might have been there also. I mean, i seen them prior, but they might have been there also. Because um, if so, then I have seen them. You know what? I think one of them was there. I don't know if both of them were there. Probably Oates. Um, I think it was a blog. And then I have Eric and Rackham. Not seen them. And Eddie Money. Which is a yes for me. And technically, it is a yes for Spectre, too. He opened for Rick Springfield once when you were real I little. was asleep. Doesn't matter. And there were a few people. Actually, the one you fell asleep at was um, somebody else. I don't remember who right off the top of my head. Uh, Zach Weidler. Guitarist for Ozzy. Um, I don't think he played any of the shows that I was at. We have seen Ozzy. Yeah, I've seen Ozzy, but that's um, something else. And Zeppelin, which again is an I wish. So, three. We were close again, <laughs> but two for you. Yeah. Yeah, because I know that this was at a festival, because I've seen them at a couple festivals, and he opened for Rick. Um,. I don't know that he was considered the opening band. Sometimes they did duo where like they were both on the same level. So, so right. I do believe I had the better pack because we did get 10 cents off. <laughs> yeah, you had the better pack. See, these are the Which, ones where we won't keep all of them because I will not keep the ones I'm not uh, connected Which sucks to. because this counted as one of my 20 cards. Did it? Yep. Sure did. And you know, it's funny, it's 10 cents. Even in 1991, would you have ordered a shirt just to save 10 cents? I wouldn't have. I wouldn't. We should see if it's still valid, just out of spite. We should, but the website's probably not even valid anymore. Hey, we got this 10 cent thing, dude. Can you still take it? But, so, there we have it. There's our trading cards and the Guns N' Roses pops with the comic. Great pops, great pops. Um, love this collection. I do know that I need an upgrade on Axel's box. We got an upgrade on Slash's box. But other than that, that's it. That's it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye.